What's going on, Bizonos? V here, and coming at you with another market watch today, actually. This is going to be weird, though, because I'm not doing a market watch of cards that have went up within the past 24 hours or 72 hours. No, 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 no. I'm going to be doing a market watch of cards throughout the year that are going to be rising in value. Luckily for us in the TCG, all, all bands and the OCG bands isn't too weird, too different. Normally, what happens when you see the OCG and they have a deck that becomes tier 1, there's a good chance it's going to become tier 1 here in, as well in the TCG. Now, they just recently had CCT Wuhan. Wuhan? Like, did they really have a tournament there? Anyway, um, they just recently had 200. It actually didn't happen in Wuhan. Oh my, I just read this. What? Okay, okay, okay. That's. That's literally insane. It's like playing like YCS Chernobyl. All right. Anyway, um, so they had a tournament in um the epicenter of this health, uh, health and safety, and they had 250 players. Uh, here's a picture of those guys. You can tell their cloth masks will protect them from that. Okay. Anyway, looking at it, what when the event? It wasn't splites. It was tier limits. Now you're, you're probably saying, wait a minute, V. What's splite in tier limits? Good question. These are decks that are going to be coming here to the TCG that are going to be really, 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 really good. One of my favorite things about tier limits, my, my favorite thing about tier limits is you get to run Shadows in them. Now, once again, this is a market watch. We're going to be talking about the market in two seconds. But I just want you to think about that because Splite's biggest weakness is two things. Exosisters and Shadow Winda. And tier limits can do, well, they can do Winda relatively easily. What we're going to be doing is talking about other decks. Once again, it's T Elements. Uh, you have Grass, uh, T Elements, Shadows. Obviously, Grass is not legal here, um, depending on state laws. No, but for real, it's not legal here. Uh, and then, of course, you have Danger T Elements. Uh, Nessie's really interesting. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, and then, look at that. Splite's got third and fourth, bro. Like, the best deck in the OCG meta just got absolutely just joked on because this kid walked in there and said, here, here's Winda. And there's your, there's your loss. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and look at the meta right now. Talk about some of the cards. Obviously, if you're still looking to run splites, I don't blame you. It is going to be the best deck when it rolls out here in the TCG. You're going to need to get totally awesome. Now, it doesn't matter if you get a rare. That's like $14. You get a Mega Pack 1's 22 or Original Print Invasion Vengeance, which starts at roughly around $33. You're still going to need totally awesome. Splites can bring this card out multiple times. Even if it's only one, they can really just reset it. It's kind of insane. And totally awesome is definitely one of those cards that... uh. Is a pain to play around and play again. So, I just want to say, if you are looking to play splites, get ready for splites. You're going to need to get a totally awesome. You're also going to need to get Swath Frog. Now, Swath Frog has the ultimate rare. It's $300. No big deal. Friend prices. Or you could get the common Adesarius Overdrive or Dual Overload. Oh, I forgot to mention. My camera's not working. So that's, okay. Anyway, back to it. Okay. Or Dual Overload uh, Swath Frog. There's 96 listings of these. This card's like $3. Uh, if you don't have your playset, I don't know why you don't have your playset. Grab your playset of this card if you're looking to play splites. If you're not looking to play splites, this card is dirt cheap right now. When splites roll out, this will be a needed card in splites. You're going to want to get this card. It will rise in value as you can play. It's not going to be wanting to pay uh, the premium for the ultimate rare. And nobody wants to play a common that costs almost as much as the ultra rare. So, literally, the ultra rare is the one you want to get. Uh, Time Thief Redo is seeing a lot of playing the OCG. Um, make sure to have one. It's that simple. Looking in the past month, you can see the price really start moving up. Looking at this card right now, and the price point is roughly around... Well, that's heavily played. Screw that kid. Uh, it's roughly around 3 bucks. So, seriously, $3, Time Thief Redoer, grab one today. Once again, nobody's looking at these cards. Nobody's talking about these cards, and that's when you should be getting involved. Get your binders ready. Get, put, get your utility deck box. Put these cards in there because they're going to see play by the end of the year. That's how quickly it's going to happen. Blink, you're going to miss it, and then you'll be paying 20, 30 bucks for a redoer. Really weird. Anyway, um, of course, King of the Swamps is a really good card. Using t uh, t elements, using a lot of decks to basically cheat out a lot of fusion monsters. Uh, King Swap is rising in value, though. I mean, people, it's already moving. If you want a DT4 version of this card, <clears throat> a DT4 version is about $40 for King of the Swamp. Uh, if you want the Fusion of Forces version, it's only 23 listings. If you don't own it already, you're looking to pay roughly around $4. And that's for the Unlimited. You got Italian. It has Italian. Look at that. Uh, it's roughly on six for Italian. It's kind of nice. And then six fifty for light plan limited and so on and so forth. You, you get the picture. This card's rising of value. If you don't have this card, go find, look through your stuff, find a playset, go to your local store, get in that quarter binder, grab a playset. Nobody's looking at this card. It does come common as rare, super rare, DT. Grab this card as soon as possible. This is also the hybrid league one. Um, we'll just see them. I mean, it's probably dirt cheap, right? Yeah, it's probably gonna be. Nope, 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 nope. This card is roughly around $125. After, actually, after that one's gone, it's $200. For King of the Swamp, 
Um, kind of crazy. Now, obviously, we have Dark, the Dark Trauma Gloomy. This is seeing a ton of play in the OCG. The reason I'm not seeing it so much play in here in the TCG is because Desperate players aren't using it, and majority of the meta right now is Desperate players. But with that said, as we move forward into Splite Tournament format, I do see Dark seeing a lot more play. So if you don't have one, go pick it up. It's like two, three bucks. More importantly, though, this is a card everyone's not looking at. Um, get your Aria the Water Charm, Regental. This card is so undervalued, it's almost criminal. This card, by the way, Ultra coming out of 2021, 10 H and Battles. It's roughly around 20 cents. 20 cents. Now, the reason I'm saying this card, because it's the highest rarity version besides the Starlight, which is roughly around $750. Uh, this card's really good. It's a lot of decks, tier limits to have water. Uh, you got also, um, you know, once again, totally awesome. That's water. And then you go into, uh, you go into Aria. And then you go, hey, listen to that. You got guys water, right? All right? Uh, gimme him. <laughs> now, obviously, this isn't used like it's a lot of decks. It's not really talked about as much. I'm just saying, just want you might want to grab one. It's 20 cents. It's not a big of a deal. Also, Marine says, I'll talk about that later on in this video, but you're going to want to have a real lying around for that. So, let's talk about Spear Mode, because Spear Mode was supposed to see a lot of play against Despia, and I wound up not seeing as so much play against Despia, because we have Suopali, which is a better version of Spear Mode, right? Well, in the OCG, they're still running Spear Mode. Why? Because even though Super Poly isn't seen as much in the OCG, even though it's starting to, Spear Mode is still a phenomenal card. It's a board breaker. And against a lot of decks in the OCG, it's going to be breaking their boards. Here in the TCG, by the end of the year, I would not be surprised if Spear Mode is a go-to choice to go ahead and get rid of a splite board. And you're going to want to get rid of that board, and one of the best ways to do it is obviously Spear Mode. But V, I have to go with my normal summon. Yeah. But if you don't spin with the board, you lose. It doesn't matter if you get your normal summon because you just lose. Like, do it right. Uh, look at spin with, obviously, the price is all over the place. Anywhere from six to eight dollars. The ghost rare is what I want to talk about because this is what I'm really excited about. Ghost rare ring dragon on spin mode has been <laughs> pre sale 200. Oh, uh, the silly people in this game. Um, ghost rare, ghost rare ring dragon on spin mode has been tanking. We even go up in the past month, it's been tanking. The current price for this card is for around fifty-five dollars. I said, I said to my other Mark watch the other day, if you're looking at a ghost rare like Spear Mode or any of the ghost rares from Ghost of the Past, Second like Haunting, they're still around. They're still in retail. They're still in your your Walmart, your Target, your OTS store. It's still all, all over the place. So there's no reason to buy this card right now. People are gonna be opening this card, cracking it, and once again, since it's not seeing play, throwing it on the market. I, I still recommend you pick this up. This is the highest rarity version of Spear Mode. Also, it's a, it's a collectible card because, you know, Ron Yu-Gi-Oh! So there's that. Uh, it's a great pickup, but not a great pickup right now. Keep an eye on it. There will be a time to go in and grab this card. So you're also going to see our scene playing the OCG. And I'm not sure if you're new to the channel. It's one of my favorite decks. Arguing, it's tied with Black Wings as my favorite deck in this game. Now, looking at Shadows, obviously, they might be slow, start slowly rising even more than what they early are, or, or currently are. Cards like Shadow, uh, Fusion, Secret Rare, Ashes of Valhalla used to be a dollar. Used to be a dollar for this card. And then the price went kind of went down for a bit, and now it went up for a bit, and it went down for a bit. It's, it's, it's all, all over the place. Right now, you could grab this card for roughly around 4 to $5. I think Shadows are going to be really good because it's good against Splites. I think Shadows is really good in general. And to be honest with you, I understand that Brennan is the better version of Shadows today, but that's not always going to be the case. There's always been decks that have been better versions of Shadows in time, and Shadows still just outlast those decks. And it's just cool to see that in the OCG, Shadows are still seeing play. It's great to see in their 250-man tournament, the reason why one of these kids won uh, is because of Winda. Let's go. Best card in the game. You might go, wait a minute, V. Winda's not fair. I should be able to summon more than one time. Says the kid acting in the Mystic Mind Artifact side, Dimensional Barrier, you get what I'm trying to say. Oh, I think that Shadows are really good, and if you want a great deck card to pick up as an investment, you don't know, hey, look anywhere further than Shadows. You say you don't like Shadows? Because you don't know what they do. Read the cards. They're good. They're likable, okay? <laughs> They're amazing. Trust me when I say this. This is the best archetype in the game. And yeah, I'm biased because I like Shadows, so what? Danger Nessie, obviously, it's really good if you use it with tier limits. Uh, it has synergy because Danger Nessie is an aqua, so it's a good card to pick up. You don't have to go ahead and grab the Danger Nessie Maximum Go Eldorado. That's disgusting. You don't have to grab the Secret Assignment and the Horizon. All I'm trying to say is 105 listings at 274 for Danger Nessie for Ultra Rare? It's not a bad buy, to be honest with you. Don't get me wrong, I have the original Prince Secret Rare First Edition, but seriously, Ultra Rare? I own some of these copies. They look really clean. They're really good, and these prices are not going to be really low for really long. What are you doing about that?
By the way, Evil Twins, uh, Trouble Sunny is one of the many cards being used uh, in the OCG, believe it or not. It actually sees play. Splite use it and other decks use it as well. Uh, going over here, you, um, one of the, I, I forgot which deck it was. Like, this deck ran it. This kid got second, right? Yeah. Taylor Mitchell Dolls, there he is right there. Boom. Second. Um, there's other decks that are, are running in the OCG. I'm not sure if there's any on, on here, but I saw some other decks running it as one well other deck profiles. Oh, it's over here. And what is he running? Splite Evil Twins? Okay, cool. He's running it. There's a bunch of decks running this card. The card right now only has one printing. That's it. One printing in Burst of Destiny. Unless you don't mind paying $175 for a Starlight Rare. I don't blame you. It looks really nice. Uh, the Ultra Rare being $1.70. Coming out of Burst of Destiny is at a steal. Seriously. Call the cops. You need to go ahead and grab this card. Whether it's one or three, it doesn't matter. You need to get this card. All right. Then we have Deck Dev Devastation Virus. Now, this is a really cool card because I haven't seen play in a very long time, but it's really good against Splites. Like, really good. For this card against Splites, you're literally telling your opponent, hey, um, you better have a way to stop this if you can't stop this. If not, I win. And if you, and if you somehow do stop this, uh, sure, I go window. Like, I love this card. I think it's an excellent card. And you don't have to buy the Ultimate Rare. I mean, there's only eight listings at a Flaming Attorney. Ultimate version of this card at a Flaming Attorney. But, um, by the way, People already know. So this, I just want to try to get these more cards as soon as possible. Unlimited is a 230. Uh, first edition is roughly around 300. Why would you like spend 20 bucks to get a first edition? Anyway, um, that's for the ultimate rare, obviously. I think a good rarity for this, a clean rarity, is going to be coming out of Legend Collection Kyber. It's already starting to move up in the market. It used to be a dollar card. You might even have it already. But if you don't have this card, it's roughly around 6 to $7 for this card. Listen, this card, two listings, uh, two dollars, right? People are buying this card up. They're buying all these cards up because they know when the meta shifts, they're going to be in a, in a prime time position. One, to use these cards, but two, to sell these cards at a high cost dollar average to you. Sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> this is why I try to do my videos as much as possible. I, I got really busy and I don't get a chance to, but I, I've known about this. I just didn't get a chance to hit record and you, you know how it gets, okay? You know how it gets. Listen. Exo Scissors is a really good deck in the OCG. You bring this deck here in the TCG, you will get slapped at, laughed at. Even though the artwork is amazing on Exo Scissors. I think Exo Scissors price points are going to be going low. They've already been slowly going down in value with the initial hype of them coming out because they're really good against splites. But they're really bad against everything else. Like, imagine having a deck that you crap on this one deck, but everybody looks at you like you're the bell of the ball. That's Exo Sisters. Um, I really like this deck a lot, though. I like the art type. Uh, eventually, I'm going to pick this up. I'm, I'll probably make, let you guys know when I do pick this up because I think everyone should have a copy of Exo Sisters. You don't have to buy the CRs and the Starlight Rare. Um, you can buy whatever you want. I'm just saying this is a great art type to pick up. It's insanely good. And if you get sick and tired of splice at your local OTS, because they're going to be coming to your local OTS, Exo Sisters is a dirt cheap deck that just smokes them. So everyone's like, I'm playing splice. I'm playing splice. You walk into Exo Sisters and you just win whatever price support they have at an OTS store. Congrats. Um, is it this month, I think, right? Middle of this month? We're going to be getting the water uh, a subset. The Mako Tsunami water subset. Okay. In the OCG, Marine Sisters were really good. Like, really, really good. But cards like Max C were just a hard stop to Marine Sess. And Marine Sess can't slow down. They take that challenge, and they usually get blasted by cards like Max C. Here in the TCG, we don't have Max C. That card doesn't exist here in the TCG. So a deck like Marines is actually is even better here in the TCG. Everyone's having a huge problem with Ignisus because it can make a huge monster with a lot of attack and you can't really do anything about it. Yeah, Marines S can do that every turn. Not only can they do it every turn, they can do it consistently every turn. And with the new cards coming out in the middle of this month, they're going to be able to do it faster, stronger, and better. I'm telling you right now, don't be surprised at your locals. Someone's going to walk on Marine Sess and slap everybody. You better know what this card does, this archetype does, or you better own it. Now, cards like Marine Sess Blue Tang have been rising in value. We've been talking about this, but luckily it got reprinted as an ultra rare. Seahorse, $2 if you want to pick that up from Rising Rampage, or you get the reprinted version of Seahorse for $0.24 cents as, an, as a super rare. There's a lower version and expensive version of Marine Sess. We don't know the prices are going to be for the next set in the middle of the month. I expect it to be really high at first and quickly go down, but only for a short time until everybody realizes Marines are really good. I'm telling you right now, but I've been waiting for this deck for a while as well because I think this deck is a really good deck against a brand new player or any kind of player out there that doesn't know what this deck does. If you don't know what this deck does, this deck is going to beat a lot of players. I'm telling you right now, for those that do play this deck, you already know what I'm talking about. You're already counting the bodies. That's what Marines is going to be doing. So seriously. Seriously, you better know what this deck does. If you're going to play it, get ready for the play as soon as possible. The prices aren't cooling off anytime soon. 
So I just want to say on my website, um, ygopaisano.mashupify.com, it's currently up and people can currently buy fuel centers and tokens. Before you run run out and do that though, just know they will be shipping out the tenth this Friday, not today, but this next Friday, the fuel centers will be shipping out and tokens all on that day. When you go ahead and buy on this website, you'll be getting a tracking number and that tracking will be updated either on the tenth or eleventh. I 100% know I'll be getting in, in, in by hopefully this Friday, if not Saturday, but if it comes later, but hopefully everything ships normally, I should be able to get in by this Friday, and we'll be able to send these out. So you're buying a pre-order today. Now, with that said, a lot of tokens and fuel centers have already sold out. A ton has already sold out, but I still have some left. If you are interested in going ahead and buying a fuel center token, make sure to go ahead and do that. And when you do that, you got to use Cash App to, in order to do that. The instructions will be uh, given to you at checkout. I just want to throw that out there for everybody. And what you're doing is you're buying, you're buying this fuel center. So on the day it comes in, on the 10th, I can just go ahead and pop it in an envelope and then mail it out to you. Any order that was done today will be sent out that day, and I will be trying to get it to you as fast as possible. These things are absolutely gorgeous. Now, a lot of Yuga players are upset because Nibiru um, and the Water Chances Field Centers uh, tokens have been gone, have sold. I ordered three times as much last time. I just put another order in yesterday, by the time you're watching this video, for roughly around 160 more tokens alone. That is a ton more Nibirus, a ton more uh, adventure tokens, a ton more tokens in general. So if anyone watching this video right now, just know there are a ton more tokens on the way first. After those tokens get here, the, soon afterwards, there'll be a ton more field centers. So if you if, you, if there was a field center that you did and you want that just sold out, once again, those will be coming over here. So make sure to go ahead and check out bydropaisano.myshopify.com. Right now, I can only accept Cash App. Uh, uh, Shopify is going over my, my, my account. I don't know what's going on with them. Hopefully, they get that fixed because I do like dealing with Shopify. It's a lot easier and simple. Um, but until then, I, have to, only, I can only accept a Cash App. I'm working on some other solutions in the background. I'll have some updates on that for this website. But as it stands right now, Cash App is the only acceptable payment method I can accept. After putting your order through, you have up to one hour to send that money via Cash App. After that, I will be canceling your order. Uh, I already canceled 10 orders, and there are kids who came in and bought two water enchanters, fuel centers, I mean, tokens, and they were so, and, and they didn't, they just didn't send the money. Three hours, four hours, so I canceled their order, and then other people had the opportunity to go in and grab those those things. Hey, listen, that's what happens. If you get the job done correctly, you get the you get the benefit from it. It's that simple. So there, once again, like I said, there are still a ton of field sensors, a ton of tokens here. Buy over here. You get you, you get your uh, uh, you send the payment through this Friday. You'll be getting that tracking updated, and hopefully uh, you'll be able to get your what you ordered as soon as possible to you. These things are selling out fast. I'm so excited how amazing this is going. I have so many more field centers and tokens coming to. I cannot wait for everybody to see this site at full capacity. I'm talking like, you don't understand. There are so many tokens and field centers that are going to be on this website. It's going to be excellent. I cannot wait to share with, with everybody, to give everybody the opportunity to buy the latest field center and token. I'm still working on inventory issues. My, my, me and my partner are trying to get as many as possible out and available to everybody. It's not easy, but we are working on that and we're growing every single time that we that we do um that we do have this uh, ability to offer these to you everybody so once again i really appreciate everybody who came in and got got the fields and tokens yesterday by the time you're watching this video there are some available i'm telling you right now after you buy you have one hour to send there will be instructions after uh, in payout so go check that out if you have any questions shoot me an email go on discord i'm all over the place and i'm always ready here to talk if anyone has any questions i appreciate everybody watching my videos i appreciate everybody going here and buying these fields and tokens one to help support me and my partner um but it also helps you know obviously the community by spending these gorgeous i mean absolutely gorgeous Gorgeous collectors, rare field centers, and tokens. Absolutely amazing. So, then once again, thank you to everybody that get, is involved or is looking to get involved. These things are absolutely gorgeous, and they're only here for a limited amount of time. Unfortunately, I'm going to try to get more, but it ain't easy. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Make sure to subscribe button, by the way. Hit the like button. Comment down below. It's your boy V, and you guys will have a great day.